Find the length of side A. This is the question to be answered here on Premier. Again, find the length of side A. Good luck. Hello, Genians! Our video for today is about my compilation of multiplication matrix. Now, I will show you the different uh, methods of multiplying which I've learned from different uh, mathematicians. Now, we will go to matrix number one. This matrix number one. Now, if you will see numbers, any numbers multiplied by 11, then this method is applicable. Now, for example, we have sample here, 23 by 11. How you will solve this one? Just put down the 2, and then the 3, and then add these two numbers, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So the answer is 2, 5, 3. This is our first sample. Now, second sample with this uh, matrix number 1 is also multiplying by 11. We have three digits multiplied by 11, so how to solve this one? Just lower down 4, and then 4 plus 8 is equal to 12, so carry the one here. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11, carry the one here, and lower down the 3. The final answer is 5, 3, 1, 3. <coughs> This is the final answer of the second uh, sample of matrix number one. Madali lang, di ba? Now, matrix number two. This one, you can use this one if and only if the ones, the tens column, sorry, the tens column, this is the column of the tens. Are, this one, are, the numbers are the same. And the ones column, <coughs> the total must be 10. Like for example, this one, 4, this is the same. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. See, we will solve this one. <coughs> we have here 4. Now, what is uh, after 4? After 4 is 5. So, multiply 4 by 5 is equal to 20. Now, the last procedure is 5 times 5 is equal to 25. See? It's easy and fast. Now, how about the second one? Of course, same. Because as I've told you, this one, the, the ones is uh, equal to 10. And the 10th the column have the same number. So, just multiply 3 by the second number, which is 4. So, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And the last one is 21. So the answer is 1,221. Matrix number 3. This one you can use any numbers. But the problem of this one. Because this one we will use the visual line diagram. That means we are using lines only. Now the disadvantage of this one, this method is. If it is higher numbers of course you will have to draw higher number of lines but if it is two or three that is okay two or three or four maybe it is still okay if it is maximum four or five digits but here i give you the example of few digit numbers just to show you how it is how it works now first draw line one two three because this is three the first number then second one, one, two, three, four. So three and four. Now next one, draw a line. One, this is one, and the, the other one is two. So here it is. <clears throat> then take the, how many, this one, how many intersections you Two, four, six, eight. 
this one have eight intersections this one have six two four six and this one have three and this one have four now we have these numbers this is number of intersections so how we'll do it just group together this one and then this and then this one so your answer here is <clears throat> we have six plus four is ten of course the first one is eight yep okay and the next one is six plus uh, four is equal to ten so you have to put the zero here and carry the one here so three plus one is equal to four so the answer is four zero eight now our next example for the matrix which we're using the visual simple lines diagram we have 132 by 41 so how we'll do it you have to draw one and then two two lines and then we have one and then <clears throat> we have one and then three one two three and then we have two one two they are all parallel lines and then we draw a four we have to draw another lines perpendicular to this uh, Lines. So we have four. So we draw one, two, three, four, and the last one we have one. So here we have to count the number of intersections. Like this one, we have four here. We have one, and then uh, this one have twelve. 4 by 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 intersections. And here have 8. 2 by 4 is 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this one have 2. 2 by 1. 2 intersections. And this one uh, have 3. So here we'll group together this one. This one, this, and this one. So, we have the first number, 4, and then we have 13, and then we have, uh, because uh, 12 plus 1 is 13, so we have 8 plus 3 is 11, and we have 2. Then, what is the final answer of this one? 2, 11 carry the one here. So, 14, carry the one here, so 5. That means the answer is 5, 4, 1, 2. So, that is the answer for this one. Now we will go to matrix number four. Now this one, <clears throat> you can use this matrix if and only if the tens side column, I mean the tens column, have the same number like this one five five three three. And they have the same number. Then you can use this matrix. Now how you will do it? First, you have to this number. 52 plus 7, you have to add this one, 52 plus 7, 52 plus 7 is equal to 59. Now, you have to multiply it by this number on the side, 45, carry 4, 25, 29, okay, add 0, then 7 times 4, you have to, uh, 7 times 2, sorry. You multiply 2 by 7 is equal to 14. Then, the final answer is 2, 9, 6, 4. 
Therefore, the answer of 52 by 57 is equal to 2, 9, 6, 4. That is the answer. So, sample number 2. We have 33 plus 5 is equal to 38. Multiply by 3. This is 24. Here it is 2. 9, 10, 11. Now you have to add 0. And then 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Therefore, the answer is 1, 1, 5, 5. So, the final answer is 1, 1, 5. Five. So, mandali lang, di ba? Now, we have another matrix. Which, here, we have numbers ending in five. So, if you see multiplication ending in five, you can use this method. Now, for example, 35 by 25, how you will do it? First, you have to... Multiply 3 by 2. This one, uh, isolate this 5 and 5. 3 by 2 is equal to 6. Now, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. The midpoint of this one is 2.5. 5 divided by 2, so 8.5. Multiply it by 100, so 8, 5, 0. Now, add this 5 by 5, which is 25. 5, 8, 75. Therefore, the answer for this 35 by 25 is equal to 8, 7, 5. This is the answer of this 35 by 25. Now, the other sample, the other sample is a uh, three-digit number multiplied by two-digit number and ending in five. So, again, as I've said, I show it the five and five. You have to work first on this one, 21 by four. So, 21 by four is equal to 84. Now, 84 plus, <clears throat> what is the, this one, 21 plus four is equal to 25. What is the midpoint of 25 is 12.5. 12.5. So do you have 5, 6, 9. Multiply by 100 is equal to 9, 6, 5, 0. Add the 25, 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. Then the answer is 9, 6, 7, 5. Therefore, the final answer in his is 9, 6, 7, 5. Before I will end up this video, you will see on the screen the solution to the problem I gave last premiere. The answer is C is equal to 4 and nobody got the correct answer.